mariahbeehome.com. We answer questions about products, we show you new stuff, and Mariah is on here today dropping links. So if you're watching the replay, make sure that you click that live chat. Um, and if you like videos like this, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We do alternate. So one week at home, one week at the shop. One week at home. So this is our home week. <laughs> this is the this home really week. This really is JRV home. Yep. And a lot of this home. stuff, I mean, pretty much all of it, Jamie has in the house somewhere at some, in some place being used. <laughs> well, the way it works is I want something. I can't find it. I buy it wholesale and I have one for me, one for you. So it works out really, really good. All right. Um, hold on just a second. I got to pull up comments, Mr. Alrighty Pants. Well, I'm just going to show him the sheep. It's been out of stock, which is why we're showing it. It's back in stock. So if you've been wanting some fun, fluffy sheep pillows, they're back in stock. Oh, hold on. I got to make these active. Oh, yeah. Make That's those actually active. my pillow off of my couch. Yeah, this is the pillow that we <laughs> use here. She's like, go grab that. That's back in stock. Bring that over. <laughs> I got to make these cutting boards of rolling pins live. Hold on just a second. Did I see that Jane got snow? It's March, tell that snow to go away. We actually got a lot of snow Saturday, no, Sunday morning, um, and it melted by the afternoon, because it's that time of year, at least here in Utah. Up in the mountains, it's sticking still. I thought we were supposed to have snow tomorrow. We might, it clouded over a little bit. Hmm. But, all right, sheep pillow. We, you know we love everything sheep around here, so. Yes, we do. Um, another thing back in stock are these big mamma jamma, what are they called? I don't know. Wire baskets. I don't think that one actually has, that's not a shop tag. This is actually from my house too. Yes. We use these for shoe buckets and I'll tell you why. Because they've got crate, like little pieces of metal down on the bottom. They got slats that keep it above ground level. So if they got dirt on them, it can fall out and it doesn't get all over the shoes. And you can also label them. You can be like shoes, slippers, mittens. I mean, if you know, cool like this that. is what we do. We use these in the mudroom, so. I figure if people see shoes in them, then they know like, hey, there's shoes in there, but you can also ride it. They've also got handles. I think these would be cool strapped on like a bike, like a messenger type basket for a bike. I think that would be cool. Also, um, not quite skipping caliber because they've got two handles. You can't skip with both arms out in front of you. I mean, you could, but it's gonna look funky and you might fall. So, Jay, uh, Anna wants to know how much the sheep pillow is. I don't know because Mariah hasn't dropped the link yet, but she is getting on it. As soon as she does, then I'll let you know. It doesn't have a price tag on it because legit, that came from my couch. <laughs> it is off the couch right over there. Let um, me see if I can pull up that price here. Did we get a price on this yet? Because um, I also no. don't have a price on this. Let's well, they're both back in stock. We've shown them before. I'll show you some other stuff while we're waiting on pricing for that. See if it actually has pricing on it before you. It doesn't. No, I mean like before you pick something oh. else up. Oh. Oh, forty-one ninety-five on the pillow and that bucket. I actually just looked it up yesterday. It's thirty-eight ninety-five. Today I am winning the lottery on stuff that doesn't have price tags on it. I think what happened is we got a new shipment in and Jamie went and grabbed all the stuff where it got priced. Mariah is finding the link and she did just drop the link on the basket. And I was right, thirty-eight ninety-five. So this is the white um, tabletop windmill. It's functional though. I bet if you put this outside, it might actually spin in a good wind. Why don't you just blow up? Give it some hot air. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. For $15.95, you can have your own hot air prepared window mill. Window mill? Wind it would mill? be good in the wind. Oh. Wind mill? Window mill. Wind mill? It's it a actually would be really cute in your wind mill window. It would actually be really cute in your window with some little succulents or some little herb situations <laughs> or whatever. But it is the large. We have a small one coming, but it's only like this big, but oh, I don't think tiny. it's white. But this is the large window. This is like the Eiffel Tower collectible of windmills. I'm super excited about that one. All right. Jane says March is usually very snowy. So. Jane, you're too far up north. All right. I've decided. And Mariah dropped the link to the website if you guys need that. And also she found the sheep pillow. So it's right. $21.95. And it's not just the outs um, outside of the pillow. It's also the insert. And it is hand embroidered. Hence $41.95. It's a little bougie. Not, but it's also it's not scratchy either. You could, I mean, you might have a little sheep imprint, but you could nap on this. Your face is scratchy. Yeah, I know. I've been busy. Okay. Scratchy face, less kisses. So I think these, these look like apothecary jars, but they also are reminiscent of like milk jugs. Yes. So I would say, I would say they're more apothecary than milk because of the top, but this actually comes all together. So it's a bird 
holder and then it comes with the four jars and it has the little feet and the middle looks like it's rusty and then it's got like the aged galvanized and then the little teeny feet. Let me show you the jar. They've got like seated wavy type glass. They did, I'm pretty sure it's a replica, it's not it old, but they did a really good job at capturing the essence of old. The essence of old. And you could do a commercial. Be like, we don't just have old, we have the essence. I got it. There's hot air all over the place today. Yep. On windmills and bottles, $28.95, and you too can have the holder with the four jars. The holder is actually really cool just by itself. Well, and the jars are not level on the bottom, so they really are made to look like old CD apothecary They might jars. be, no, they're pressed. Looks like they're pressed. Yeah, they're pressed. The windmill would look cute in a fairy garden if your fairies lived on a farm. It would be appropriate sized. Yep. Because if your fairies are like this big and then your windmill. So, something exciting. Let's talk about these real quick. Oh, hold on, how many people are on them? When we get 300 when, people. Okay, when we hit 300 people, so share this video out. We gotta and get 300 Tell your friends to about. see, and we'll show you some brand new stuff that you can only find at Jimmy Ray Vintage or JRV home. Yeah. Or from a retailer near you. Yes. One of All our, those things. One of our JRV retailers. Okay, back in stock, the very popular. Very famous bath soap holder. It has two little hooks so you can put some screws in the wall or nails and mount it, but it will stand and just hold your soap on the top of the counter too. Oh, that's a good question. What sealer is food safe? Hemp oil. But I wouldn't put it on a tabletop. Just use a natural water-based sealer like Big Top because hemp oil isn't made to like withstand stuff. Although I do like myself some white oil wax. The white oil is wax is actually here. holding up really well. And if you need to touch it up, you know, you just wipe some more but on. It's not considered like food safe. So don't like lick it. But. But just, your cheese it falls on it. We like just I right before this did a video all on food safe products that will be coming, coming out tomorrow. Out tomorrow. So. And these ones that are coming soon, once we get over 300 people on here, are all food safe. Just a little teaser. Teaser chicken. All right, so the soap holder's $9.95, back in stock. Let me show it close. Can you the see that it says back? back? In stock? It's black. Oh, so. you know what we didn't My get? My lights aren't on. Bag? I know. The auger bags. Are, is there an auger bag in there? Um, I didn't see any bags. I don't think Christiana put them back in there. Okay, so the auger bags. We They'll showed sell them to without you. showing them. Yeah, they show, we showed them to you two weeks ago. They just got back in stock. So look those up if you've been waiting for them. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch our video from two weeks ago and we showed them in green and camel colored. They sell out fast, so don't tell you I did. Don't say I didn't tell you. Yeah, that's what it is. No, now can we see that this says bath on there? Kelly, there if you go is. to jamierayvintage.com, we carry the white oil wax. Today it's all about JRV home. Though. We got a lot of fun smelly stuff. These are Melister. the wax melts from DIY Candle Co. This is, so these are named after paint colors that Debbie has with the DIY paint. And we sell them at jrvhome.com. We already sell her candles. They're hand poured, soy based, and these are the little wax melts that go in the, we also carry the, the little things that you put them in. Where are they? Oh. oh. Yeah, this shield. old 57. It says rustic, classic, fresh summer night. Hold on. This is hooked on it the does have way. that. It does have that going. It's hard. It, it's hard to describe because usually I'm going based oh. off of like fruit. Are I you grabbing the, the melter? Are you grabbing the melter? Well, I unplugged Alexa. And but it has like a nice clean scent. Not quite like fresh laundry. Um, but <laughs> hey, careful. I'm here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, but it's got a good, good, clean scent. It's not like cleaner smell. It's just, it's bright. My pig cutting board is food safe. All of our cutting boards that we make are, we're going to show them here in a little bit. So that one's good. So I just want to show you, we carry these melters on the website and this, and then a hobnob bl blue one. I think they're like $14.95, but I wouldn't swear to it. But anyways, these are $6.95, and if you don't want to come in to a big candle, you just buy the wax melts. So what is that one? So this is Summer Crush. This one might be my favorite. It says Juicy Citrusy, and it smells like a, like a Starburst. Smells like a Starburst. All right, I'm going to smell Cowgirl Coral. Oh, they are $14.95 for these. 
Togo coral is floral. It says boots over heels unless it's flip-flop weather, salty and sweet. This does smell like a pretzel and a starburst. So that one's good. Cowgirl coral. What does that one smell like? So this is cake batter. It says lick the spoon, buttery, buttery delicious. Can't Don't read Don't actually them. eat them though. Don't eat them. But if you are on keto and you can't eat cake, just smell that. It does, it does smell like a cake batter. Not quite as sweet maybe as it would taste, but it's got, I bet, I bet burning. This is, this smells like uh, cookies cooking. Let me see. It'll smell like cake, not cookies. Well, cookies and cake smell a lot the same to me. It smells like vanilla cake. Yes. Did you get some in your eye? No. <laughs> I got an eyelash in my eye. Don't you know, you know it smells like funfetti cake. All right, Ooh, gravel road. Favorite. This is woodsy. This is like a man. That's very a manly smell. Yeah, I would wear that like a cologne. Don't wipe it on your body, please. I'm just gonna go rub it on me. You like? That is good though. These pop out like ice cubes, by the way. You don't have to use all of them. You can just pop them out and just put one in or two in. Um, this one's French millinery and this is a lavender vanilla. What I wanna know is how they got them to be real close to the paint colors. Magic, DIY magic. Cute Debbie's um, niece makes these. She's her candle maker. Petticoat pink, it says mango and passion fruit. It smells, it's got like a real floral smell to it. Fun and flirty with a vintage vibe. Uh, Kelly says, get hungry taking a shower. I don't know that you shower with wax melts, but maybe you put them on your bathroom. You know what? If you're doing if you're doing the cake batter one, that could work out for you. Ooh, kissing booth smells like, what's it, like, this is definitely a starburst. It says watermelon lemonade. Yep. Also, you know, if you can't drink watermelon lemonade. It is. Ellie makes them. That's what her name is. Thanks, Donna. Her dog, did you her forget Ellie's name? name? I did. I said her niece, but her dog's name is Chicken. I remember that. <laughs> so it is hard when we're smelling things not to actually eat them. So just a word of caution. Don't eat your candles or your wax melts. Jay, Kai wants to know, what are my thoughts on what I saw in the shops on my girlfriend's shop trip? My thoughts are, we sell way cooler stuff. Except for, there were a few people there that painted thrifted finds. And they had awesome stuff and I bought something. So I actually bought a few somethings. So other than- I haven't even seen it. Did you drop that off at the shop? The sheep is right there. Oh, that. show it on Saturday. Yes. And I bought that. And I also bought uh, a, a copper, where's my stuff that I bought? Cause I had a copper ring. I better find my bag. Anyways, all right, moving on. <laughs> Don't it was lose your stuff time. that you bought at the market. Vintage linen, smells like clean sheets. So this one here. And it has lemon in it. Let me smell that one. I love this smell. It's lemon cheese. vanilla. This one's mint chip. It doesn't smell like downy. This smells like mint chip ice cream tastes. That's it? Yes. Okay, hold on. It's got like a chocolatey smell oh, yeah. to it, it but it's got what? mint. It's got a little hit of mint. You wouldn't know this because you never used it as a kid, but this smells exactly like mint chip smackers. Yes, I didn't ever use that. Mint chip limp smackers. Yep, that's a good fresh laundry smell. Donna says, of course you do. All your stuff is awesome. Well, the thing is, I only sell things that I love, so. <laughs> so she's partial. I'm kind of partial. All right, this mermaid tail, it says, once upon a tropical adventure, smells like a mixed beverage in Hawaii. Let me see. You never even had a mixed beverage in Hawaii. I've smelled them. Maybe a mixed I've had soda. a virgin one. It smells like a pina colada to me. Which is a mixed beverage. Okay. All right, we made it through the pile. They're pretty, they go in melters. We also carry the candles. And not only are you supporting us, but you're supporting Ellie and Chicken and Debbie because it's Deb from Debbie's DIY. So it's always good. Made it in America, in Encinitas, California. All right, let's talk about the bike in the room. So we show these about once a month because that's how long it takes to get them back in stock. And then as soon as I show them, all right, go. <laughs> These are handmade in New York, little bikes with lots of fun details and they're galvanized and the wheels do spin and the handlebars turn. And when the handlebar turns, do the, does the wheel turn? Oh, and it The does. whole thing turns, yeah. The, and it doesn't, the kickstand doesn't come down, but these, the pedals turn, they don't actually run the wheel because there's no chain. But you know, for being handmade, they're really intricate. There's even a little bell here. The bell doesn't work, but it's like so, so cute. 1995 for this. I didn't realize when I made them, bought, made them, bought them that they were handmade, but then when I got them, I was like, oh, those are so cute. 
somebody had made this and I can sell it for $19.95. You know, summertime's coming too. It's every, I noticed a lot of people around here have dusted off their bikes and they're out riding. This is like yeah. 50 today. And you know what? After a long, cold winter, 50 feels pretty warm. I'm in shorts. <laughs> the bike is made in New York. That's what I was told. It's handmade. I haven't actually seen the New Yorkers that made it. I, I mean, I couldn't right. confirm nor deny that one. You guys were eight that. people away from showing you the new stuff. So keep sure sharing it out and telling your friends. Okay, so we have some new cast iron pulls. These are a little bit different style than we've had. They're more squared off, but I, I like them. No, so those are just the large ones. Those are like the ones we have in our pantry, only they're bigger. No, I'll be yes. right back. Are you good? You don't believe me? No, these are more squared off. Well, close enough. They're the large ones. They're coming at you. I really love them because they'll fit my hand. Look. There we go. We have the cutest kids that walk in front of our house. Yeah. Are you waving to them? Because they can no, see you. No, but in I here. want to. They're watching us film ourselves. <laughs> All right. They're like those those rays. They're always sitting with the camera in the kitchen. You know why I bought this sub? Because I would like to have a latch on my bedroom door. Oh, I still don't have a latch on the well, bedroom door. Well, we need door. privacy. We have to like push the chair up against the door. It's really not an efficient method. Or if I'm showering, same thing. Well, don't we need <laughs> privacy for that too? Uh, the kids don't seem to care. The boys will just come right on in. <laughs> I'm naked, yeah, but that's okay. Anyway, so. It's like, Dad, Dad, I needed to tell you this about my video game. I wanted to have this cool okay, come on in. I'm showering. farmhouse latch and they've been on back order. So I'm gonna need to take one out of stock before they go out of back order again and then I don't get one and I'll have a lock on my So door. it's got the one piece hanging. This is the other side, but the latch is way cool. So that large pull is $3.95 and it is cast iron. Yes, they are cast iron. This is cast. Well, this That's is wrought iron. This is cast iron. Yes, wrought and cast iron. And that latch is $6.95, which is a really oh, good that's deal. that's a steal. Yeah. Um, we have these fun pools, these these handles here. These would be amazing on like a really large charcuterie board. Yeah. You know what I like about these is this little butterfly-ish detail here. All of the old hutches that I get have that like detail on the hinges. And so this would work on a cupboard, like on a drawer, but also this could be a door pool or a cabinet pool, or like I said, a charcuterie board. I'm waiting, for, I think this is probably, oh, $6.95 for this large drawer pool. Those are, for cast iron pools, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, you could actually use that for your door. And um, Kelly said privacy is priceless. And Les wants to know if Mariah is settled. Um. I feel like the kitchen and the living room's put together. I think Les was asking Mariah because she's on here. I'm just stating what I saw. <laughs> she's been coming over for waffles and tacos, so does that count as settled? Um, all right, you guys did a good job sharing that out. We have 317 people on here. <gasps> all right, now we can show you the All right, tacos. she already showed you this, and we may have sneak peeked these, but these are finished. These are available now at jrvhome.com. And these are handmade, um, so one solid piece of wood. They're we not put laminated. put a bird on them. That's how you know we it's put authentic. put a bird on them. And Ty Ask for is the best. Get a bird. making these for us now. He's doing all of our wood products, and we've added some new stuff to the line. So if you've been waiting for that to come out, because we started talking about them moving up here, I think, like, last March. And Ty's totally tall, dark, and handsome, and his little boys are cute. Yeah. So if you want to support them, buy JRV Wood Products. And Mariah, she's also she's cute. She's also cute. Mariah's coming over tomorrow to do my hair. And for Girls Night Out, I'm kicking Zeb and the kids over to their house. She's coming over here with my girlfriends. So these are 20... Oh, no, Mariah, these are different than that one. That's a different one. Yeah. Let me see if I can find the link to these ones. Sorry, guys. Don't use that one. It's not the same. Do we need to get rid of that one? Yeah. To, <laughs> these are twenty six ninety. If you order that one, you're not going to get it because these are different. These are made out of different wood than those were originally mm -hmm. um, for the pig one, right? Mm -hmm. For all of them. Yeah, the pig used to be made out of laminated wood, and now they're made out of the solid wood. The pig used to be made out of cutting our uh, stair treads, and now this is all solid wood now. There we go. I dropped the link. So these are solid wood, and there's a pig. So do same shape, different wood. Just the, just the pig is the same shape. The other ones are all brand new. And we have the sheep. The sheep is exciting. And you get a little bird on the bottom when you get them. They're all food safe. They're sealed with our sweet pickens, hemp oil, and milk paint. And there's a video coming up tomorrow showing you exactly how we seal them and how we mix up our 
food safe stain that we use on all of our products. So we're super excited. We filmed that right before we went live, photographed them, put them on the website, and now we're selling them. Yep. So Jane they, says solid wood is worth more. It is. So, In this case, it's worth four dollars more. Also, um, these would be fun as wall art. You could totally just hang these up on the wall with, you know how they like to stack all the animals? Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Do they fit on each other? Oh, uh, they're pretty close. No, they do. Watch. You and could maybe, chicken on top. Maybe you do... No, the chicken on top of the pig because it's flat. Hold on, wait for it. Hold on. Okay. The sheep. We would love to sell you four of them. Can you even see that? Yeah, they oh. don't have hardware on the back, but you can... Oh, they can't see the chicken. Yeah. Hold on. I'll move the camera. I'll be good. You can, you can do it. Just angle it up slow. Don't touch the camera. Touch the handle in the back. Okay, I can do it. There we go. There's a good stack of farm animals. So they're not proportionate, but because the chicken's as big as the sheep, the hey, cow, and the pig. Maybe they're baby animal. No, the cow's definitely not proportionate. But yeah, Ty's hand making these, and he's waiting for you to order a bunch of them so that, you know, he can have a job. Well, <laughs> we're also, so what's happening is I come up with things I want, and Ty, or Zeb, is actually designing them. And then he takes them over to Ty, and they cut them out, and then we finish them. So we're super excited about that. So we've had rolling pins, but we revamped them, did a little bit different styles on these so that they would be easy to make, but also unique and cool. Um, these are also part of the uh, the new stuff. We've got more stuff coming out, but this is the first run this of it. This is the newest new hotness. All right, so I feel like I that's too far away now. You'll have to look on the website. We labeled them A, B, C, D, E. So this is A because it's the smallest one. There's a drop down, right? Yeah, there's a drop down. So they start at $18.95 and they go all the way up to $36.95. Are you sure? I think this one's $16.95. I don't know. Did you mess that up? No, I gotta check the link. So this is a little tiny one. Jasmine Isaacs asked for one of these. She's like, that would be perfect for rolling. She's like, I need a little one for rolling out my paper clay and my air dry clay no, when it's I'm doing crafting. It's supposed to be. No, it's not. Oh, because you finished it. Yeah, so it's $18.95. And these are and then the gotcha. next size up is $21.95. Here, this is my favorite one. So I'm wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. You this is this is Jamie's like special request one. She's like, can we do one with like knobs that kind of look like a spool but not? So I looked up antique rolling pins and I found my absolute favorite designs and then Zeb created them and then Ty is remaking them. So these, the small one is $18.95. These ones are $21.95. Look, these guys are like... They're solid wood. They is, don't have the bearing in there. They're made all one turned piece. So this is like uh, the big brother and the little brother. So this is. is me and this one can be Ty because he's the little brother. But he's the big little brother. He's taller. <laughs> He is the big little brother. Ty is not doing custom orders at this time, Les. Not currently. He might eventually. I don't Les know. likes herself some Ty, so I'm a little concerned what Les is going to be asking for. All right. Here's the big... I should have named this the Big Mama Jamma, but it's not. Should have, but you didn't. I didn't, but it is $36.95. I want to show you the difference in size. It's like... Yeah. So this one's like three and a quarter by 20. This one is approximately two inches by 15. And then here's a little baby for reference. And they're all going to be a little bit different um, because we stain them all the same, but the wood's a little bit different. But they're not like mass produced in some sweatshop somewhere. They are made right here in Lehigh, Utah. And then we finish them with milk paint that's actually manufactured, well, milk paint and oil that's manufactured and sold out of Utah too. So these really are like Utah's own, which I love. Yep. Maybe we can get a, some big companies to sell them for us because it's Utah's own. Maybe. Lisa says you can make some serious noodles with that one. Yep. And we are gonna offer them unfinished to our retailers. So you can see if a retailer near you is gonna carry them, but they may not look the same because it's up to them how they finish them. Yeah, they get them unfinished and they can do all kinds of fun stuff with them. You know it's ours when it has the bird. And the bird is custom. Zeb literally took an old nail and hand carved our own bird stamp that we put, we burn into every single item that we're making. So you're only going to get that bird from us. The dog's name is Chicken. Yep, Lori. Could Ty make wood products that people could finish out? Yes. So if you want these unfinished, hop over to jamierayvintage.com, which is our DIY website. 
They're a couple bucks less and unfinished. We so. have tons of stuff coming actually, tons. This is just like the little drop at the beginning of the river at the top of the mountain. And like in a month or two, we're gonna be at the bottom of the mountain, be full size river of good wood products. So Jane says, I'm working up a sweat opening my JRV home box. Hey, Jane, we wanted to arrive alive. <laughs> okay, and you guys might get tired of seeing these, but literally you guys buy them out every week. Yeah, so they're back. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the Victorian tin lace that has been selling out every week. The people are probably like, what the heck are they making with them? And I'm like, listen, I don't know. Odelia made crowns. People use them for vignettes. It comes with 15 feet, I believe, yes. of tin. And yep. they're awesome. 15 feet long. For $14.95. Victorian like lace foot. ribbon. That's a lot of fun for a dollar a foot. That is. Well, and they're really detailed. I mean, this pressed tin. Oh. Look at that. I have my own Ty and Zeb sweatshop running now. It's pretty great. I haven't seen Ty sweating yet. I mean, we got to get him working, guys. All right. I actually don't know what Jean called these. Oh. But these are actually from, we have, you guys have probably seen it. Um, we have an old typesetting drawer that has all the, the drawers with all the spaces for all the letters. And when we cleaned it out, we found these original stamps from things that were made. I don't even know who they were, but they have numbers and letters and we're selling them for five dollars five of them for 9.95 which i didn't know if they were collectible or not and then i went online and they were like two or three dollars a piece like not even a piece like two or three dollars for each letter right yeah well they well some of them sold yeah some of them sold this or just a letter but at least four bucks a piece for like this part of it and these are the vintage typewriting set so you get five of them for 9.95 and they all say different things some of them are just numbers they're all rusty and amazing and they actually come from our drawer, which I have no idea where it came from originally, but I didn't want to lose them. So I put them in my handy round pail that you can also purchase at jrvhome.com for $5.95. <laughs> Comes in a variety of colors. The pail is actually... Oh, Les said the Victorian great. lace could be on a three-tiered stand. Les, I could kiss you. That's genius. Yeah. Let's do the wood cutouts with a turn center and then people could put that around the edge. Okay. So just I like, like just you. like this big, just nice and right around there like that. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, um, Lolly says I used it on the brush chandelier for Debbie. So this tin, I never even thought about that. That's awesome. Okay, thanks. Juice says the kitchen looks good. And yes, the oven light is on. I don't know why, but it's on. The oven's not. On. It's fine. <laughs> Just the light. You know, we needed some extra lighting in here. I'm like, let's see if we can get some lighting from the ground up. I don't think so. All right. Who loves what? tiny little chairs? Give me a high five. Lots Raise of your people hand. because we sold out last time and didn't even show them. I just talked about them. Whoop, people are already shopping on the website. Good job, guys. All right. Let's see what we got here. She says, oh, I thought I recognized that tin trim. It was on Debbie Chandelier. So pretty. Bootsy loves little chairs. So these cute little chairs just came back in stock, but this is the first time we've shown them on the home, Stay at Home Shopping Network. And I think they're like five-ish dollars, but I'm waiting for Mariah to drop the link. We'll Rusty see. mini solid round chair. How tall do you think that is? Like three inches? I can tell you exactly. I have a tape measure. Oh, no, not say... the set of four mini chairs, Mariah. These are different. We do have a set of four mini chairs, and we only have one set left, and I'd love to sell it, so please buy it. <laughs> but these ones are sold individually. I don't know what they're called. Let me see. All right. Any takers on how tall these are? Jamie said three inches. We're going to play the guessing game while I look them up. Yep. She'll get it before me. Is that a four minute? You can see how big that is. Oh, Let's I see. wonder. I'll put it at the bottom of my palm. Where is it? Two inches, someone said. Hold on, I'm getting there. You're on the wrong website, aren't you? No, decorative round chair. It should say. It does have round. That is a weird name for it. They're 3.32 inches. Yep. I said they Just were Just a hair over three. She found it before me. $4.95. I was right. You can get a 3.34 inch chair for four. Hold on, what did I say? $4.95. <laughs> And it's rusty and adorable. So there you go. 
All right, we have some planters. If you guys are getting ready for spring. Concrete's hot, these are hotter. Well, not to the touch, but like hot as in gonna sell fast. They've got, this guy even has like fun little- uh, Hi, Nancy. Almost like camouflage detail. Yep, so that is the frog planter. It's the same size as the turtle planter. And the turtle planter we had before, but it sold out. So now we've got the turtle planter. We got him again. And we've added, oh, Delia's gonna love this I know. one. So Delia, you can't have the it if elephant. you're watching. The Let's elephant. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. So Christy got it and she white waxed hers. So I think you can buy them regular and white waxed. This is not white waxed, but it's super cute. When you add a little white wax detail. Look at the cute little elephant bum. But Christy bought one for her daughter. All right, I'm waiting for, I think uh, Mariah is looking up. Did she put stickers on these? Oh, no, none of these had prices. You grabbed them too fast before she I could did. get to them. Well, I had to get here and finish my- um, We had some videos 1095 for the frog planter. Ju says she wants everything, she, but she lives in the UK. Elephant planter is 995. And then I think the elephant planter painted is like a different price. So 995, and then if you want white wax, it's a little different. Nancy says the soup might have to wait. This is too fun. I said goodbye, but she stuck around. She well, don't burn the soup. Well, I think she's if just going to heat it up. Oh, if you're just heating it up, I guess you could wait a minute or two. Um, so these are functional. We determined that the last time around. Yeah, it's a watering can. Actually, this is different than that one. Yeah, that one, but it is. Do you want me to test it? No, it has. I can see the spout comes all the way through on the bottom down here. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. But it's not a teapot. It's a watering can. It is a watering can. And it's... Um, it's, <laughs> Elaine says I love epilumps. I really love the long handle that's just continuous from the top up to the front. And this is a restock. We have carried these before, but they sold out. So I ordered some more. Leslie got the frog. All right. Leslie, you live in Washington. So what do you like to plant in your stuff? She could probably just go outside and get a frog. Frogs and slugs up in Washington. I know. Oh, the water can ones. show sold out. Maybe uh, Christy didn't. How many do we have, or did they already sell out? Mariah, are you at home or at the shop? Can you ask Christy? No, it says four, act, four available. Maybe she just asked. You know what? We have several watering cans. If you look up watering can, it might be one of the different older antique. Oh, versions. nope, she found the link. Yep, the small watering can is $16.95, and they are in stock. We have four. We had six, so we must have sold a couple. All right. So we've got a couple more things here. We've got, We've got shoes. shoes. This comes also in black option, but Jamie brought two options like this. Well, you know, it happens. All right, I got what happens is I forgot this to. This is kind of cool. The slouchy Look. ankle boots. So these come in sizes seven all the way up to 11, which is awesome because sometimes the shoes stop at 10. They run a half size too big and we tested them out on four different feet. And we all agree they're half size too big. So I normally wear like an eight in like a Nike or a dress shoe. And I wear a seven and a half in these. I do not have skinny feet. I just have average feet and they fit me, but they would be tight on wide widths. And I bought these because I was looking for shoes that would work well with um, leggings. So if I wanted to jazz up my leggings, <laughs> I'm actually not wearing them today. I'm actually wearing these shoes, which we sell too, but they're on clearance right now, half off. So I wanted shoes for leggings and also for dresses. So in the summer, I like to wear dresses with closed-toed shoes, especially when I don't go get my pedicures. So those are why I bought those. Oh, you know what else I like about these guys? They have a zipper on the back. Yeah, I thought the zipper was really cool. So it makes it easier to get in and out. And they come in taupe and black. Are these like a suede belt material? So they come in 11. So actually, if you wore like an 11 and a half, they would probably fit because we've tried multiple sizes on. And I normally wear an 8 and I wear a 7 and a half in these. We also have these. Those I also wear seven and a half in. And I wear, sorry, I should tell you too, when I tried them on, I wear these little footy socks. So if you wear big, fat, thick socks, then it might be different. But with these socks, they're half size. So these are showing up really black. They're like a felty type material. They're velvet, not felt. It feels like felt. It's not felt. Okay, it's velvet. Not, it's not felt at all. All right, velvet. People are gonna be super sad when they show up and they're like, this is velvet. Yes, they are. They're not narrow in that like they wouldn't fit an average foot. They're narrow in that they're not going to fit a wide. I'll show you. This is my foot. Oh, that's my socks are dirty. 
That's just the logo on there. <laughs> well, anyways, and they Did fit. you go walk in the garage where Here, Vinny's wood turning? Measure how wide my foot is. We're gonna do some. I don't. I think you gotta have your foot down, planted. No, just measure across here, from here, the widest part. Put your foot on the counter. It's fine. I'll watch. Three it. inches. My foot is three inches across, and they fit fine. <laughs> they could even probably go up to like three and a quarter. Take those shoes off the table. It's not a table. It's an island, and I own bleach. Well, and these are brand new. They still got the sticker on the bottom. They say you have wide feet. Yeah, these aren't gonna be. Wide. I have really wide feet. I have to wear a whole size up. If, if I can never get shoes in the 13, we'll have you try them on. All right, so these are band style. And the reason why I bought these ones is because, why did I buy them? Oh, I was trying to buy some bands for Odelia, and yeah. they were all like $60 and $70 a pair. And I was like, Jamie, don't play that. So I can't say that they're bands. We'll say they're mans. They rhymes with bands. They're only $22.95 for these ones, and they come with free shipping. And these ones are $35.95 with free shipping. I paid a lot more money for these, but you can see why. Look how cute they are. All right, now we're done with shoes. All right, we do oh, have- Also, I wear a seven and a half in these instead of an eight to give you a size reference. And if you need us to, we can always measure top to bottom. Just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and we can measure them for you. So this shirt looks like it's just black on camera, but this one is fancy. It's a fancy black shirt. It's, it's, a, it's a sweater. Is it a sweater? Well, I mean, it's like a sweater shirt. It's like shirt. a three-quarter sleeve sweater shirt. Yeah, what size is this one? Medium? It's like a mesh. Yeah. I would definitely wear like a tank top or a t-shirt underneath it. And I would say this one is slim fitting, so size up on that one. Ta-da! What size is that? A medium, which is what I normally wear. But there you go. What is this one called? Does it have a tag on it? Um, it's just called Crescent. That's probably the brand. Ray said, Ray says it's bad luck for shoes on the table. Oh, well, it'll be all right. We've That's had right. them on here before. We've broken mirrors and walked under ladders and so there you go. Anyway, so what is this called though? It, that's all it says on there is one word. Oh. It's a, it is a medium. It is a medium. Yep. All right, I'm going to see if I can find it on here because Mariah is not going to know just from looking at it. Yeah, it's like a... Black lattice shirt. There you go. It's eighteen ninety five with free shipping. Ta-da! But anyways, I would definitely say size up in this one because I normally wear a medium and I think I would want a large. All right, next. Next, we next. have this. It's like it's almost like a spring throw. It's, it's Daisy a... Bell sleeve sweater. And I like it because I don't like super heavy stuff. Will this one spring. fit on me? It's size big, so size up in this one, but I think you size, this is a small and it's made to be big. This is a small? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's big like, in the neck. It's not big in the chest. No, nope. it is tight. <laughs> this one's nice. But look at all that room, I got like wizard sleeves. Can I try, can we see what it looks like on me? I'm supposed to wear a small. Yeah, I, it is a little tight across the chest here. But I would say since it's tied across his chest that a small is probably the equivalent of like between a medium and a large right now. But it's made to be slouchy. <laughs> it just right. looked so stretchy. I, I was like, I can get in that. I can fit. Whatever. The bell sleeves are popular. All right, let me see if I can get this on. Okay. There you go. That's the right fit there. So it's supposed to be slouchy and big and cute. So this is the way it's supposed to be worn. Oh, there you go. Like that it. looks right. <laughs> it's like a belly shirt on me. Yeah, it's not a belly shirt. <laughs> All right, so this one is nineteen ninety five. I think I think that's all the stuff. That is all the stuff. Yep. All right, so hit up jrbhome.com for the things that you saw here today. Definitely pick up some new Woods products made by Tyrell and designed by Zeb and dreamed up by me. Um, let's see if there's any questions here before I go. Hold on. Behind. Bootsy says the shoe rule doesn't apply if they've never been worn. And these are Oh, new. I see. And my foot was on the counter, but not my shoe. Well, there's so many superstitious things. Like I walked under like a thousand ladders when I was building this it's house. It's a skipping shirt. Just saying. Uh, Jew, Jew Fryer says I look slim. I actually have been drinking a lot of soda, so I'm not super slim, but leggings with a loose shirt, totally. It's like an optical illusion. Is that what it is? 
I think I think we've been live so long that Jack forgot we're live and he's fighting with Redrick now. Zeb is shrinking. No. Are you shrinking? No, we've been running. I might be toning up a little bit, but I weigh about the same. It's full size. <laughs> all right, you guys, make sure you're hitting up. Also, our New Year's sale is still going, and I know it's March, but it's going to keep going till it's all gone. We've got lots of fun products, so scroll through there and see what we've got going. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And stuff. And candlesticks. <laughs> and corbels. And cutting boards. And rolling pins. Love you guys. All right, have a good one, guys. Oh, and I was wearing a small, just so you know. That was also wearing a small. <laughs>